Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Finally another unboxing. Uh, my name is Mohammed uh, from Tech Utopia YouTube channel. Uh, peace be upon you like always. So we have uh, the Redmi Go, finally the cheapest uh, Xiaomi is just basically they are going nuts bro. They're going nuts. Uh, they just need to uh, basically invent a new category uh, prices next to the basically iPhones, uh, Google P Pixel smartphones, and Samsung. Uh, basically, one thousand. I would love to see a Xiaomi smartphone worth in one thousand dollars. I would love to see it, and also OnePlus smartphone. I just want to see it, man. Since they are killing from right now from seventy-five dollars to. $550 to $600, Xiaomi is just a killer, bro. It's a killer, completely killer. Anyway, let me just show you here the price tag. You can buy the Redmi Go on the Gearbest, and I got it from the Gearbest. Thanks uh, for uh, Gearbest. It's uh, $74. So I'm going to maybe even leave a discount coupon for maybe $2 off. So please make sure to use it in the uh, in the description. Copy and pass it. This is a flash sale promotion, $74 bl global version. 1 gigs of storage, eight, uh, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage. Remember, this is an Android Go smartphone. This is not a, uh, uh, basically not a regular Android uh, 8 Oreo, Android 9 Oreo with uh, a lot of bloatware and a lot of uh, smart, uh, a lot of apps. So, Ninjas, sorry, uh, I'm having, I do have a handicap. Uh, I broke my arm, so I'm gonna just use one hand in this unboxing and hands-on quick review. So please make sure to forgive me for that one. Anyway, we have the four major uh, selling points of the Redmi Go. It is the 4G LTE support, dual SIM, 5-inch uh, HD display, 720p high resolution, Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor. I would always choose this processor over the MediaTek 6737 or 6739, always, or 6580 because these three MediaTek smartphones are uh, around und or under $80. 3000 mAh power battery and we have an 8 megapixel back plus 5 megapixel front selfie camera really great specs for $75 bro let's unbox it okay ninja so I'm back so here we go this is what do you get in the box uh, micro USB cable it's in white color there you go micro USB port uh, charger which is a standard cheap cheap charger from Xiaomi original Xiaomi charger cool and it's 5 volts yeah output 5 volts 1 amper if you can see that and we have some manuals probably and sim tray inside of it, a uh, pin for the sim tray. Yeah, it's over here, bro. you can see myself. That's it. Fortunately, you don't get a case, but that's completely fine. For such a cheap smartphone, that's completely fine. You could get also a case on Gearbest and Banggood uh, for two, three dollars, I think so. Uh, anyway, what I would uh, before I do before we talk more about the Redmi Go and regarding the screen speakers, I'll just show you right now what are the best two al best alternatives to the Redmi Go. In my opinion, it is the Lenovo K5. Yeah, Lenovo. Sorry for that. Uh, Lenovo A5, which is selling for under ninety dollars. And we also have the Humidity G A3, bro. These are two, two best, which I also reviewed, and they are really decent smartphones for the price tag. Super cheap, but decent. Remember that. So these are the two alternatives. Redmi 6A, unfortunately, is selling for $100, so it's $25 more expensive. Maybe I'm gonna leave the discount coupon below, uh, but you can check it. Anyway, LTE bands for the beginning B1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 28, 38, 40. Fortunately, there is no B20 band. Oh, there, sorry for that. Sorry, my bad, my bad. It's there now, Ninjas. It's there. Perfect. Anyway, so here we have the Redmi Go. Redmi Go. Okay, we are back. So here we go, Ninjas. This is what it looks like. Yes, yes, obviously, huge vessels. Uh, the top and bottom, ne ne uh, basically, chin are really, really huge. So Lenovo K5 and Humidity G8 3 are way, way more attractive uh, smartphone. And honestly, they also have very similar screens. It's not that the like the Redmi Go will give you a better screen. Uh, Lenovo K5, Lenovo A5, and Humidity G8 3 do have a gorgeous, stunning screens for the price tag. Nevertheless, still a lot of people would prefer uh, to go with the Xiaomi slash Redmi brand. Anyway, and this is Android Go uh, operating system. 8.4 millimeter thick, so it's 8.4 millimeter thick. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top, noise cancellation microphone, uh, of course, volume rocker and power button on the right side. On the left side, we have a 2 plus 1. Basically, you can put an SD card and you can put also 
to SIM cards. So yes, to three slots. Yes, on the bottom main microphone. So this is uh, what uh, Redmi Go wins here. That it has a noise dedicated noise cancellation mic, and that will help a lot in the phone calls and in recording your voice. Uh, micro USB port and a main sound speaker, which we're gonna test soon enough. Uh, we have on the back we have a eight megapixel camera with a flashlight. You can see by itself this is made from this is plastic ninjas remember this is plastic anyway let's turn it down so on the front we have capacitive keys not virtual keys we don't have off-screen gestures or so and uh, we have on the top five megapixel front selfie camera earpiece or yeah earpiece for the phone calls and of course we have light proximity sensor Anyway, Ninjas, uh, weights, it's very light. It is very light. It's lighter than the Lenovo or Yumi DG. It's only 137 grams. So for people who prefer to have something super light, this is it. 16 9 aspect ratio, and like I mentioned, 8.4 millimeter thick. It has a plus, uh, black, and blue, black and blue color available. Check it out. So these are the main, or basically, you can see by yourself that you're going to even have pre-installed YouTube Go. YouTube Go app, which gives you an option to kind of uh, download the video quality, uh, video size or video, basically the video size in a low, medium and high quality, which is again really cool. We also have a Google Go, Gmail, G Gmail Go, what else we have here, can we see? We have also Facebook Lite and Google Assistant Go. So special, special operating system, uh, of course, created for the smartphones which have only uh, have, have only one gigs of RAM. Again, in just I am satisfied with the uh, fluidity here. Of course, I do feel lag here, but uh, it's completely fine for such a cheap, cheap smartphone. Let's move to the screen. I'm gonna find some beautiful. Firstly, I'm gonna just show you how it looks like on the YouTube Go. If you are interested in that, it has even a special icon. So, I don't know, I'm gonna go to any video, just a minute, let me see, let's go to my video, and it will give you option connect to internet to play this video. Okay, I'm gonna connect, here are the options uh, in the pull up notification window bar, portrait mode, battery saver, okay, now we're gonna go basic, standard, high quality, let's go with the standard quality, play it. You wait a bit, you wait a bit, there you go, you can access and see the settings uh, of my description, you can see myself, but what I can't see it is the comments bro, you can't leave a comment with the YouTube Go, because there's no option to see even the comments, at least this is what I'm seeing right now, and off report, that's it Ninjas, this is how the YouTube Go looks like. And we have Gmail Go, Calculator, Maps, Go Assistant, uh, Photos, everything's there. I'm gonna just go to YouTube. Where's my YouTube? It's over here. Okay, so we are checking here the YouTube uh, 720p, obviously. We're checking a bit uh, the screen. And the screen does, indeed, it does belong in one of the best things about this smartphone. So this is an LCD IPS 5-inch screen. Uh, 294 uh, ppi medium density, 1000 with one contrast ratio, 2.5D curved glass screen, 380, basically the screen brightness goes up to 380 luxes, 72% NTSC, checking out, I'm gonna bring it a little bit. Again, I would choose example Lenovo uh, A5, I would choose Lenovo A5, Lenovo A5 has a very similar screen in just and it does have uh, less of those bezels, less of those bezels in my opinion. I would choose Yumi DG if you do prefer uh, for the glass premium look because Lenovo and uh, Redmi do have a plasticky chassis on the back. Anyway, LED notification is not there unfortunately, you don't get a LED notification bar with the Redmi Go uh, and it does have kind of a scratch resistant screen, I'm not sure which type is it but it looks like it is slightly resistant on the scratches. The colors look natural, it's not a it's not a warmish screen, it doesn't go it doesn't have that yellow tint you can even judge by yourself. We're gonna go quickly to the uh, let me just check here and show you the viewing angles for this cheap cheap smartphone. Poor ninjas, the, the viewing angles are poor and again that's completely fine for uh, 
cheap smartphone for uh, for seventy five dollars. You can see by itself that it is poor. It's completely you can again in a, in in another way in another hand. This is good because so, if somebody is sitting next to you, he won't be seeing what you are browsing or looking or typing. So again, having a bad viewing angles is good for some group of the people. Checking here, maybe the LG also this is a really cool uh, sample. I'm gonna put it on the back on the on the table and I will just show you that also offers a 720p 60 fps mode. I'm recording this in 30 fps this video, but uh, you can at least judge that it's not laggy. Again, this is good. This is good. And immediately transformed or basically changed to 60 fps, which I love. Good, good screen, bro. No complaints whatsoever. We're gonna quickly here test the, uh, basically the touch sensitivity. Let me just try to, just a minute. Let me try to, okay. You see, by itself, there is a special, even a special keyboard, which is kind of a night mode keyboard. Very responsive. Very responsive on the edges. Check it out on the edges. Hectic feedback vibration is strong. Anyway, good, good sensitivity. Uh, let's go a little bit to the, just a minute, to the settings. I'm gonna close this thing and I'm gonna access the settings and just go to the display mode. Let's see here what we can change in the display mode. Adaptive brightness, night light. Yes, if you want to use this blue filter, it's on. It's available. I'm gonna disable it for now. Auto rotate display size. Ambient display. What? Tap to wake. Okay, tap to wake. That's really good. So that, that's double tap. Wake screen when you receive notifications. Oh, nice. I didn't receive any notification, but that's really nice. Double tap. Is it working? And okay, yeah, it is working. It is working. Double tap. It is working. If you don't want to use that ambient display. So, so far, everything is good regarding the screen. For the price tag, uh, just uh, good, uh, basically, compliments. Good compliments for the Redmi, bro. Beautiful. Okay, Ninjas. Okay, I moved my camera in this position. It's uh, easier for me. So, uh, specs-wise, basically, the performance and hardware. Uh, firstly, as soon as I unboxed it, I got a small update regarding the security patch, probably. So the stability of the device as well as the performance. Okay. The Geekbench 4. Unfortunately, there's a bug with Antutu. I'm not able to run Antutu, the latest version of the Antutu on the Redmi Go smartphone here. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the Android Go. Who knows? But I'm not able to show you Antutu scores. This is the Geekbench 4 for $75. This is very impressive, man. That's very impressive. And we have the GFX benchmark. You can also just watch my older videos with the cheap smartphones to check it out and compare these uh these uh, basically benchmarks anyway let's continue next we're gonna go more in details regarding the device info hw so this is snapdragon 425 processor a smartphone msm 8917 code arm cortex a53 it's a quad core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz it's a 64-bit system beautiful clock speed you can see myself on the bottom there Regarding the GPU, also you can see uh, on the bottom it's Adreno 308. 308. We can also do a gaming review separately on my channel, so please make sure to check that when you find free time. Okay, Xiaomi Redmi Go 8.1.0 Oreo memory camera. Remember, the smartphone has a 1 gig of RAM, or you could get also, I mean, there's uh, two versions, one with 8 gigs of storage, another one 16 gigs of storage, but both of them do have 1 gig of RAM room. LPDDR3. What is cool about it, it does have an SD card support. Sensor has, uh, it doesn't have a, a face ID, it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, it does, ha it does have an accelerator, light and proximity sensor. Uh, we're gonna go quickly to the battery. We're gonna, uh, of course, also do a battery test later on. Uh, thermals. Let's go to the sensors. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a magnometer, no gyroscope, no barometer. 
so it doesn't have these sensors so please be aware be aware ninjas be aware i mean let's continue next here so uh, i mentioned there the 4g lt bands on the uh, on the at the beginning and there's no point for me to check it out check it out again uh wi-fi direct wi-fi display and wi-fi hotspot bluetooth 4.1 uh, also we have a gps beidou glonass and gps uh, uh, of course otg enabled radio uh, fm uh, radio fm is enabled uh, which we, uh, wait a minute i'm gonna have to check that i'm gonna go and check it also we're gonna quickly uh, just a minute let's see here do we have an fm radio in the app yeah we do have it we do have it i will check that in the speaker at, uh, in the audio test just after we finish this one and let's go immediately so it does have an ota enable so you're going to receive an uh, updates because this is a global version in just i'm going to go just quickly to the settings I'm just show you right now how it looks like go to the system go to yeah they go to update it and it's going to look like this there you go ninjas security patch level is from january the first not bad man not bad what uh, not bad at all so let's immediately go to youtube just a minute where is my youtube ah youtube is here let's go to youtube and test the speakers stay tuned max volume come on facebook damn it okay we are back Impressive ninjas, I'm honestly impressive for $75, this is a great speaker bro, it's a great quality, great loudness, uh, good job Redmi for providing us, you're gonna be satisfied for such a cheap uh, smartphone, this is really good. Let's test the speak uh, the headphones, the Xiaomi headphones, ear pistons, okay checking out here the headphones, let me check it, haha, <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad at all, of course you can't hear that by yourself. But you're gonna be satisfied, Ninjas. Let me check it. Maybe my microphone can catch a little bit, but loudness is spot on and the quality is also spot on for such a cheap smartphone. So it is better than the Lenovo or Yumin DG audio side. Basically, yeah. Anyway, let's go now and check the FM radio and the mic quality. There you go. Works fine, Ninjas. Works just fine. Perfect. Hey, that's really good. You can't use the FM radio if you don't connect the headphones, unfortunately. Check it out. Boom. See? Not gonna work. Okay, uh, I just recorded something. Let's play it back. One, two, one, two. This is the microphone check. Let me go. 40 centimeters away. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two, this is the microphone check. Let me go a few centimeters away from my mouth. My name is Mohammed. Check, check, one, check. Okay, good, bro. Average, average, nothing really impressive, but again, uh, it's totally fine for this uh, cheap uh, smartphone. Uh, very similar to the Lenovo. I have to say, very similar to the Lenovo A5 level of the uh, mic quality. Let's go next. Why is that shooting at this thing? I don't get it there. How do you even shoot it there? Ah, there you go, now. We're gonna try it again, the bullet force. Okay, I'm back. Let's see here, will it exit the game? But I'm impressed by the smoothness of this game on Redmi Go. 
$75 smartphone. And a kill, bro, with a broken arm. Sucker! Because it doesn't count. Second kill with a broken arm. I have to admit that I didn't test this game on the MediaTek processors 6737 or 6739, which are similarly priced. Oh no! What is that? Oh, take the bike, take the bike. Okay, Ninjas, welcome back. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. So, this is the in depth camera review of the Redmi Go. This is the front selfie camera, and you can judge by yourself the video quality, audio quality, and the stability. I'm gonna go uh, and walk a little bit. Regarding dynamic range and exposure, not bad at all, but I have to admit that it's not that sunny. Uh, it's cloudy, so I can't judge the exposure right now. For now, it looks okay. For now, it looks, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, the front selfie camera looks really good for this $75 smartphone. It is the cheapest Xiaomi smartphone slash Redmi smartphone ever. So you can judge by yourself, is it worth buying instead of the Xiaomi Redmi 6A? Because it is for me the best competitor because also that smartphone is around $80 or so. With the discount coupon, it's even less than that, bro. Anyway, I, I've been walking, I've been walking, I've been walking. Anyway, that's it. Let's go next. Redmi Go, back camera sample, full HD 30 FPS. That's the maximum resolution that uh, you can capture with this smartphone. Not bad. This is a very cheap, super cheap smartphone from Redmi slash Xiaomi. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed, honestly. It has a really amazing uh, screen, great sound, and also great camera. Okay, ninjas, and for the end, just conclusion, what I think about the Redmi Go, what are the pros and the cons? Not so many cons, but I will mention the cons. Uh, for me, at least, I don't know, for me, I generally think, not just for me, but I think that generally uh, some people will find as a con. There is no LED notification bar with this smartphone. There is no gyroscope, ninjas. There is no fingerprint sensor. So just have that in mind that some Chinese smartphones around or under $80 will offer you, example, at least fingerprint sensor. And will also uh, offer you a LED notification bar. This smartphone doesn't have it. Again, but still, again, also some other smartphones, uh, plenty of smartphones don't offer a uh, notification bar for $75. Anyway, uh, let's continue next. So, uh, very thick bezels. I mean, check it out, ninjas. This is very thick, bro. 
This is a huge chin on the top, huge chin on the bottom. This is really huge, bro. So if I don't have a Lenovo A5, uh, A5 here, I would just show you the difference. Uh, Lenovo A5 has uh, like double less, like triple, triple less of, of, of the thickness of this Let Me Go. Uh, next, uh, so we have the box, which I mentioned and which I showed in my in-depth, uh, uh, in, in uh, basically with the gaming review, I showed you those box. It seems that this Android Go is not optimized for many Android games, Ninjas. So be aware of that. Uh, I would tell you immediately that you are not able to play PUBG, the global version, on Redmi Go. It not it's, you can install it, but it one it will just say that this device is not supported. So just have that, have that in mind that this is not a gaming device. You can play only those minor games like Clash Royale, that triggers that triggers runs really good. Bullet Force, Bullet Force was closing, uh, fortunately. Anyway, uh, the pros. What are the pros for the Redmi Go? Of course, it is the price, bro. It is the price. We have to say that it is the price. Let me just go to the settings. Uh, clean Android Go, 4G LTE bands, 3 slots, so you can use 2 SIM cards at the same time and 1 SD card. Great screen, it is great screen, I'm just show you again, uh, the screen brightness is in the maximum. So it's a very bright screen. I'm gonna go and change the wallpaper, let's see what kind of wallpaper we have. Ah, just 4 wallpapers bro, that's it, it's very simple. Well, let's choose this one, this is a nice wallpaper. Uh, next uh, we have the best camera for the price. I have to admit that this is so far the best camera that I ever tested I spent $75 basically and it is the best camera the front and the back cameras are the best nothing can beat with any single sh uh, Not any single non Xiaomi smartphone will beat this device here regarding the camera itself Yumi DG, Elephone, HomeTom, Doji, Okitel, uh, Qbot, nothing, nothing bro. This is the best camera smartphone for this price tag Good speakers also, you're gonna get the really good speakers, loud and the quality is there. Noise cancellation, microphone is included with this cheap smartphone. And of course we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack and a good, good battery life. Like I mentioned, 8 hours screen on time for watching YouTube videos. Regarding the gaming, I will have to do a different video regarding that. Anyway, ninjas, I hope you enjoyed in this in a, like a, a kind of uh, really... Uh, I, I don't know my, my impression uh, I'm a little bit in the handicap because I couldn't go outside and do my proper in-depth review like with the different uh, shots and everything because my arm is broken uh, so I hope you're gonna uh, forgive me for that one but nevertheless I hope you enjoyed in this uh, uh, really simple review you're gonna have the buying links below if you want to purchase it I repeat again the best alternatives are uh, Lenovo A5, Umidg A3 and if, if somehow I can manage to get a discount coupon for the Redmi 6A under $80, I would advise you to buy the Redmi 6A in, instead of the Redmi Go. So there you go, Ninjas. Uh, for $75, I recommend it. I recommend it, Ninjas. But that 16 gigs of storage is like $20 more expensive. No chance I would ever recommend uh, Redmi Go uh, for $95, bro. No chance. Nobody should buy Redmi Go for uh, $95, bro. Just don't buy it. If you can buy it under $75, then get it. Mohammed is signing out. Masrama. Peace. Do -do 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 -do. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from Chicka Chicka Ching 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 China? That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!